Hi, I'm Michael McGonigal, author of the Trauma Professionals blog. Thanks for joining me to learn a little bit about how to grade spleen injuries. It's not really as difficult as it seems, and I'll just give you some quick tips and tricks so that you can do it like a pro. There are really just two pairs of numbers that you need to memorize in order to do this accurately. 1 and 3, 10 and 50. So the 1 and 3 refer to depth of laceration in centimeters. The 10 and 50 refer to the percentage of subcapsular hematoma on and around the spleen itself. So just remember, 1 and 3 centimeters, 10 and 50 percent. And so if you want to get specific, if you have a laceration that's less than one centimeter deep, it's a grade one injury. If you have a laceration that's more than three centimeters deep, it's a grade three. Anything in between, one to three, is a grade two. Similarly, if you're dealing with a subcapsular hematoma, then anything less than 10% of the total surface of the spleen is a grade one. Anything more than 50% is a grade three. And once again, everything in between, is a grade two. Now let's talk about those few that hopefully you don't see too many of and those are the grades four and five. The easiest thing to do is remember a grade five is uh, basically a spleen that somebody took it out, threw it on the ground, jumped up and down on it a few times, then stuck it back in and got the CAT scan. So it is absolutely uh, shattered. It's just a piece of pulp in there. A grade four is somewhat less than that but it falls outside of the grades one, two, three guidelines. So typically there are injuries to the parenchyma or to hilar vessels that devascularize good portions of that spleen, but it's not shattered like a grade five. So what I'd like to do now is to go through some CT scans just to give you an idea of how easily you can grade these just by having a quick peek. So let's start. Here's a nice coronal section of a grade one spleen laceration. If you measure it, this is less than one centimeter in depth, so by, by definition, grade one. Here's a central laceration that measures out at 2.2 centimeters, so it's more than one centimeter deep, less than three, so by definition, it's a grade two. Here's a grade three. It goes completely through the inferior pole. It's more than three centimeters in depth, and so it's a grade three. Incidentally, you can see a couple of little hot spots in it, one at the very inferior tip of the spleen and one within that dark hematoma area that indicates that there is active extravasation. Interestingly, there is no change to the grade based on the presence or absence of extravasation. Here's a grade four. So this one you see quite a bit of central disruption, some devascularization. Also, you can see a few areas of extravasation. Finally, here's a grade five. This is a, a, just a shattered spleen. You see a few fragments here and there surrounded by a large amount of hematoma. If you look at the uh, axial view, you can also see that there's just not very much recognizable spleen parenchyma there. So there's one last thing that I want to talk about, and it's a nuance to this scoring system. The math doesn't always work out. If you have multiple lacerations, multiple subcapsular hematomas or a combination of both, it will actually increase your grade. So if you have two grade one items, such as a laceration and a subcapsular hematoma, the grade goes up by one. So this becomes a grade two injury. Similarly, if you have two grade twos, you get a three, but you can't get any higher than a grade three. So it stops at that point. So two grade three lacerations equals a grade three. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me learning about spleen injury grading. And uh, please click the subscribe link on the middle of this screen or click on the uh, button that is below and to the left of your viewing window so that you will be notified anytime that I put out some new videos. Thanks for watching.